same graphing of the questions which were raised for what the eight times about the time, the lady here was talking about job creation, and we've just been talking about the campus and shipyards, which has been brought over. That is job creation, it's absolutely fantastic. Something that the Scottish Government pushed for and all had to do with all these American plans to save the campus and shipyards. We have friendships in job creation. We have all sorts of energy, new energy. Eighty-nine million pounds to pay there in the Strathclyde University to create wind power and green energy. Also, that's all job creation as well. We have apprenticeship schemes going on. So these are all job creation schemes. We have just now under a limited power that we support to have have much better than all of the powers of an independent, <coughs> normal, sponsored, and independent country. Health was raised by the gentleman who didn't get a chance to answer. Health, the health service will be absolutely safe in an independent Scotland. The one thing that I'm really proud of and I'm looking forward to is a written constitution. A written constitution through an independent Scotland. In that constitution, it will absolutely be enshrined that the health service stays in public hands. At the moment, we know what's happening down south that has a knock on effect. It will have a knock on effect in the budget to the Scottish Parliament have an awkward effect on the health service. Andrew Burton, the health minister, he has already mentioned that. The Labour minister and the Welsh Assembly has said the cutbacks because of the privatisation of the health service down the south is having a direct effect on the budget that's given to the Welsh Assembly. The United Trade Union has said the same. The Ministry of Trade Union has said the same. And yet the only people that seem to think it's not going to have an awkward effect but the Barman Corner and budget is the Better Together campaign. The Tories and the Labour Party and the Labour and the other things there. So I only want to say to answer that question. What I want to say to you is you have a golden opportunity to create a fairer, just society in Scotland. Mm -hmm. I've already said we're not too mean, we're not too fair. We pay more into Westminster than we get back. We want to ensure that our country looks after the people. Well, we want to get rid of this gap between the rich and the poor. We want to stop the bedroom tax. We want to stop the welfare cuts. And the only way you can do that is to elect an independent Scotland, vote yes in September the 15th, then we can have a fair and just society for all of our people. Thank you.